Hey family, it is your girl Alicia coming to you with a word of encouragement. I know it has been a while um, since I have created a video and I want to start back doing these videos now that I have graduated with my master's in social work and I have started a new career um, as a therapist, um, a behavioral therapist at that. So I'm, I'm giving God all the glory because it belongs solely to him. It has absolutely nothing to do with Alicia. Um, I didn't have nothing to do with it. It was all God. Um, and I thank Jesus for everything that he is doing. Um, I did want to come to you guys, um, me and my family, my household, um, my family has been having Bible study every Sunday evening in which I lead every Sunday and it has been a joyous time in the Lord and I wanted to encourage somebody on today who may feel like you are being challenged from every direction. The enemy is creeping upon you, coming against you. He's doing everything that he can to attack you and every from every direction. I want to encourage you. The scripture that we talked about was James 4, 7, and it says, resist the devil and he will free, flee from you. And so my word of encouragement to you is that whenever you feel the enemy is creeping upon you, the Bible tells us and reminds us to resist the devil and he will flee from you. Many of us are allowing the enemy to use us in many ways in which we must understand that the enemy is so crafty. He is strategic. He will come from every direction that you can't even think of. But we have to be wise, as the word of God says, be wise as serpents and as gentle as doves. Many times opposition uh, comes up against us, it rises up against us, and we don't know what to do. But the Lord of God, the word of God says, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God. And when we humble ourselves, right, we resist the devil. And I'm going to come from uh, James chapter four, verses seven um, through 10. It says, so humble yourselves before God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Verse eight says, draw close to God and God will draw close to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, purify your hearts, you hypocrites. Let there be tears for the wrong things you have done. Let there be sorrow and deep grief. Let there be sadness instead of laughter and gloom instead of joy. Verse 10 says, when you bow down before the Lord and admit your dependence on him, he will lift you up and give you honor. What is this saying? God has given us uh, sound instructions on how we can draw closer to him on how we are to um, resist the devil. See, many times when the enemy comes in like a flood seeking whom he may devour, it catches us off guard. And many times we fall into the hands of the enemy. Many times we fall into the strategies of the enemy, not realizing that this is of the enemy. And many of us need to resist the devil so that he can flee from us. Many of us are being attacked on our jobs. We are being attacked in our family lives. We are being attacked in the stores. We are being attacked in many uh, various ways um, in our lives. And many of us need to understand that when we resist the devil, he will flee from us. Does this come without challenge? Yes, it does. We are being challenged from every which way. But I want to challenge you, my sister and brother, to seek ye your whole heart um, to the Lord. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and know that all things will be added unto you. Listen, I know that um, many of us are being challenged and we talked about in Bible study on last week how Jesus was being uh, was had to resist the devil from many temptations. He was tempted in various ways when he was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights and I want to say this to somebody that even though Jesus was attempted, he was yet without sin. He understood his position. He 
understood um, the call that God had called him to, and he knew that the enemy was going to come against him, right? And so the Bible reminds us in uh, Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 11, how Jesus went up to the top of the temple and, 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 and Satan began to promise him all of these things. He had him look down over the world and he saw the, how uh, much he can have. And the devil said that to Jesus, you know what, if you bow down unto me, I will give you all of these things. And, and one thing we must understand that no matter how the enemy comes in, no matter what the enemy tells us, if we know the word of God, if we know the promises of God, if we understand who God is and what he has called us to do and what he has called us, to, who he has called us to be. We do not have to worry about what the enemy is promising us because God has already made the promises and those promises will be fulfilled one way or another. So many of us need to understand that no matter what the enemy does, no matter what the enemy tries to promise us, God has already made promises. Why? Because he is a God that shall not lie. He will not lie. So when we stand on the word of God, we will, our promises, the promises of God will be fulfilled when we trust God in all of our ways and lean not to our own understanding and, and we trust in him and know that he will direct and order our paths, then we shall see the promises of God being fulfilled. So I want to encourage you that no matter what the enemy throw your way, no matter how many promises the enemy give you, the enemy cannot prevail against the word of God. God will always prevail. Jesus will always give you strength, undeniable strength, that you will be able to stand against the wiles of the evil one. All you need to do is stay in your word. Know the word of God for yourself. Don't listen to those who are telling you this and that and, and manipulating the word of God. You have to know the word for yourself. And when you can know the word for yourself, you stand on those promises that God has already given you. Those promises will be revealed. So I want to say to somebody, be encouraged through this week, understand that God does not make mistakes. The enemy can come in like a flood, but I need you to stand, stand, stand. Stand on the word of God, stand on the promises of God, and know that God will always, Jesus will always prevail against the enemy. So be encouraged on this week. Um, I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. Until we meet again in the next video, bye for now.